Buenas tardes, I'm Carl, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my YouTube channel, then greetings, then welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am doing basically like a recap of my life and uh, what's new and what changed compared to when I started my YouTube channel because my first YouTube video was an introduction to me. So therefore, I am remaking this video over a year later after I started my YouTube channel to recap things and make an update about my life. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. My name is Carl Cruz Nantel. I am currently 16 years old. I just turned 16 recently um, and I am Canadian. I have been living in Canada for my whole life. I am half Costa Rican because one of my dads is Costa Rican and the other is Canadian. Um, and I am proud of my family culture because what matters to me is my family and I am part of my family and since they're Costa Rican, I consider myself to be the same as them because their culture is my culture, right? Because we're all family. Um, and yeah, uh, for my languages, when I made my first video, I was bilingual and now I am trilingual, uh, meaning in French, English, and Spanish. Um, I went to Costa Rica for the whole summer um, to visit my family and spend time with my grandparents. And it gave me a chance to practice my Spanish because my grandma doesn't speak English, so I could only speak Spanish with her. And my grandpa, uh, he speaks a bit of English but I practice my Spanish with him as well um, and yeah also I volunteered for the whole summer in a animal rescue shelter uh, where I did tours in Spanish English and French and most of the tours that I did were in Spanish um, so it gave me a huge amount of time to practice my Spanish because <laughs> legitimately it was like four hours a day of speaking Spanish because I started in, at 9 a.m. and I finished at 4 p.m. and most of the time it was only tours in Spanish sometimes there were tours in English sometimes in French this is future me editing and I just like to say also that in Costa Rica I made a lot of new friends especially at the shelters such as May. May is from Germany, I made a friend called Bailey, Bailey is from Washington, I made a friend from Scotland named Sebastian, a friend called Anna Lorena and a friend from France called Marion. I made so much more but I wouldn't have enough space to put them all on here um so yeah. I am pescatarian, so I have been uh, pescatarian slash vegetarian um, since 2018, I uh, believe December 2018. Um, and yeah, I started off as vegetarian and then I, like a year or a few months later, I became pescatarian. So I haven't eaten land meat such as cow, chicken, pig, um, all those since 2018. Um, but yeah. And for my love life, I used to date somebody from my first video to around 10 videos ago, um, but we broke up like seven months ago or eight months ago. Um, it was a while ago, and now I am dating somebody else. I've been dating Vincent for two to three months now. Here's a picture of Vincent. I asked his consent before putting this here, so if you see this, I asked him, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's an update about my love life. I'm not really going to open up too much about that since it's more on a private scale, um, but yeah. For the animals that I have, I have a chihuahua, a cat, um, two chameleons. I used to have tarantulas, but they died. Uh, we have a tortoise, we have a Pac-Man frog, and an areomastic. A type of lizard. <laughs> I don't know how to say its name. Um, but yeah, those all belong to my parents, but you know. Um, also in Costa Rica, I adopted a kitten. His name is Tabora. Well, me and my grandma adopted him, and I'm really grateful for my grandma because she's taking care of him. Basically, what happened is that somebody dropped off a cat at the shelter. We told them they weren't allowed of dropping off a cat, they just dipped. So the cat needed a home, so we adopted him. Um, and Tabora is actually a name from a character of a book series that I'm making, and the name of the book series is Dream Mistress. And um, yeah, I write books in my free time. Um, and yeah, so for my favorite book series, it's still Heroes of Olympus, and a book that I'm currently reading is, where is it? <laughs> Laura Olympus in Spanish. For my religion, I am still Wiccan Hellenist, um, but I am trying to find my path in witchcraft. Um, I've 
sort of always been Wiccan ever since I started making witchcraft, um, but now I'm thinking I might be eclectic Wiccan, uh, which means that I practice Wicca with different aspects of different cultures. Um, and I'm still Hellenist, which is the Greek pantheon. Um, I'm not going to explain that right now, really, because I refilmed this video twice already, <laughs> and I explained it for way too long. So I might make a video separately to Wic uh, Wicca and witchcraft and my path and stuff like that later on. Uh, like the video if you would like to see that or comment down below and also subscribe if you haven't already but uh, either way next step uh, video games I play so I am addicted I mean I am currently playing Civilization 6 um, it's a game sort of about making a civilization and getting winning a certain goal uh, I really love that game I still love Sims 4 um, but I haven't played in a while because I don't really play PlayStation anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, also I forgot to mention my first language is French for the question about languages. Uh, my first language, uh, was it this way, that way? I don't know, it doesn't matter, there wasn't an actual thing. Um, but my first language is French for those that didn't know. Um, but yeah, for my favorite shows, uh, my favorite show is Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love that show. I cried so hard at the end. I cried for like two weeks okay um i highly 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 recommend the show i think it's still on netflix it has four seasons um it's really really good not all the aspects of it are like accurate you know um but yeah <laughs> um what else i am currently learning german also for a language that i'm currently re uh, learning i don't like i can't really speak german i'm just learning german on duolingo um so i'm not that great yet um, and yeah, uh, also one of my favorite shows, it's Titans, the, it's like a real version of Teen Titans Go, but more mature, sort of, um, and yeah, and then I'm gonna answer a few questions from you guys, so I can actually answer the questions that you guys made, um, so yeah, the first question is in French, I'll just translate it for you guys as well, ta langue préférée, uh, your favorite language, I would have to say Latin, um, it's kind of like an unpopular opinion, but Latin, people might say, oh my god, it's a dead language, why are you studying Latin? Yeah, I'm studying Latin as well, um, it's because in witchcraft, Latin is, um, it's sort of like an inherited, um, sort of, not cultural thing, it's just, Latin just brings so much more, like, types of witchcraft closer together, because it was sort of the universal language for witchcraft at first, you know? Um, but, yeah, also, some countries, they do not speak it, like, as their main language, obviously, uh, but they have it on side languages, and it kind of brings people together in a certain sense, in a sense of witchcraft, for example. Um, and I'm not really gonna get into details f more for that, so the video doesn't get too long, uh, but one of my favorite languages is Latin. Uh, next question, why did you decide to start YouTube? I decided to start YouTube to share my passion to others and to show what I like um, and to make teach other people about cultures from around the world um, and making people experience things through a screen. Um, so if you look through my most recent videos, it's mostly all towards snack related, uh, but that's not what my channel is all about. I It's all about different cultures, trying new things and stuff like that. So it can go from Wicca to Hellenism, to candies, to talk about different cultures, all those things, um, and yeah. And next question, um, it's Capybara said to pull up. Okay, I pull up, um, but yeah. Um, next question is, are we all criminals? So technically, morally, perhaps, if in a realistic world, morals were a crime, in the sense that if you did something morally wrong, you'd be arrested for it. There's a different stage between morals and laws. If you were to look morally at something and legally at something, they're very different. Um, so in a realistic world scenarios, technically, if morals were to be a crime, so therefore, if morals were laws, we'd all be criminals since lying is literally against morals. Well, most of us would be criminals because I'm pretty sure you guys have lied once in your life, right? Um, but yeah, in a realistic scenario, we're not all criminals. Um, but yeah. And then um, next question, what is your favorite smell? I really don't know. Um, then the next question and last question is, if roses are red, why are violets blue? 
I really don't know, but if you were to look at the genetical stuff, uh, there's dominant genes and non-dominant genes. Um, like, millenniums ago, violets could have been, like, I don't know, like, orange, and orange could have been a non-dominant trait, and dominant trait, which could have been blue. In a realistic sense, it would have been the opposite, I guess. Um, then if they kept on mating and mating, and a dominant gene kept on expressing expressing itself, then it could have just resulted in blue. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so that was the last, actually, there was one last question, which was just Subway Surfer. Yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, guys. Like the video and subscribe if you aren't already. I'm sorry if I talk really fast, it's just how I am. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!